I'm very, very passionate about the healthcare industry and definitely passionate about North St. Louis. The persons or people that reside in this community, they know me. They know me as someone who grew up with them, someone who attended the St. Louis public school systems. I would hate to see or look in their face and see disappointment that I did not deliver. So for that reason, I work very, very hard to make sure that they can continue to trust me to be a voice for them, because most of them are voiceless. We just changed our name to CARE STL Health. And if you think about that and what Angela has done for the health center, she really embodies care. She cares about the community, she cares about the patients that we serve, and she also cares about the staff here at the center. In the last few years, she has done a lot as it relates to opening up a new site on Pope. She's also started school-based programs and has expanded those out to other school districts. She has opened up new opportunities for our patients here to get services with behavioral health and also with chiropractic services. Here and throughout the neighborhood, um, the neighborhood that she's grown up in, um, she's hired staff and just given us a, an opportunity to do things that we might not have an opportunity to do in other companies. Last year, for the very first time, uh, during a meeting with the Missouri Primary Care Association, it dawned on me that I was the only African-American female CEO for the state of Missouri serving in FQAC. So I'm so passionate on developing and mentoring uh, young executives to actually move into the healthcare industry and serve. We really need women executives in the healthcare industry, especially in the CEO seat.